welcome to the Gold Coast off the Strip Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. So today I'm gonna to be staying here at the Gold Coast. I have an awesome room here, and today we're just gonna to be touring the Gold Coast and talking about it. It's definitely one of those properties in Vegas that does not get enough attention. So Gold Coast was opened up in 1986. This place is known as a locals casino, so you're gonna see substantially less tourists here. There are 711 rooms here. This place is also a Boyd Gaming property. I made a number of videos on Boyd properties, one being uh, the Fremont Hotel and Casino on Fremont, the Cal, Main Street Station, the Orleans, and a handful of others. So the Gold Coast has an 86,000 square foot gaming casino floor with over 1,500 slots and video poker machines. So believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever been in Gold Coast, ever. Passed it a million times, but never been in it. <laughs> <laughs> we found the pool. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cute. It's nice. Yeah. So right behind the pool is the fitness center. It's in this building right here. Nice fitness center. Very nice. Got everything you need. Got some of this stuff. Got some weights. Got some things you run on. A little bench seating. And the best part is you can go, you can work out, and then you can pop right into the pool because it's right next to the pool. Hello. So we are eating at their steakhouse for dinner and we're going to eat some appetizers here at the bar and then move on to the dining room for dinner. Very, very nice place here. Hidden gem. It's a Wednesday, so it's a little bit on the quiet side since it's not a weekend, but uh, beautiful place here. Meatballs to start us off. Cornerstone is cool because in uh, in 2016, this used to be the restaurant that was here before was the Cortez Room, which was a staple. It was here for 22 years, and a lot of the Boyd properties, what they did is they, it was each steakhouse at a certain point in time, it's time to bring it into the next generation. They created Cornerstone, they kept the nice big boost, they made it nice and modern and very friendly. The colors are nice and muted, and you can get all dressed up, or you can get dressed down, and you can just have a fabulous time. The menu's great. Everybody in here is really, really friendly. Um, the drinks are great and the food is great and our cooks are absolutely spectacular. That's a little bit of background. So for dinner, I got a pound of king crab legs and a filet mignon. And they also brought us out one of their specials, which is a salmon dish and they just brought that out for fun. Just wanted us to try it, so that was cool. And Greta got the lamb chops. So we finished off dinner with their special dessert, the Trace Leches Mousse. Their specialty, very delicious. Yummy. We're going upstairs to the bowling alley now. They also have an arcade here in the bowling alley. This is fun. So one thing that there's no shortage of in Vegas, at least off the strip, are bowling alleys. A lot of the properties off strip have bowling alleys. This bowling alley is really neat. You have your arcade, you have the snack bar back here, and there's an actual like a hidden bar in a different room over here as well. Okay, I think I need to put this camera down. <laughs> Round 
one goes to Pompsy. I got 150. My all-time record is 156. So six away from my all-time record. That's pretty good. Granted, did pretty good too, but not good enough. It was close. First game was better for both of us, but still got the W in game two. Good night. Good morning. Slept pretty well, actually. I'm not sure if I gave you guys a proper tour, but here is the tub in our bathroom. Nice looking tub. Here is the bathroom. Toilet room and shower here. Living room. Dining room table. And then the bar here. Nice bar here. With the TV. And a fridge. Here's the bedroom. You have your desk over here. And it's just too funny. This is how the bathroom is set up. Like The bathroom doesn't have doors. It's kind of just like an open bathroom. And then you have this room, which has the toilet and the shower, like I just showed you. Kind of cool, though. We're going to show you a standard room here in a moment, too. We're just going to go down and get some coffee first. Also, this is pretty cool. Got some coffee at the Java Vegas coffee shop here. Now we are gonna sip some down, play a little bit of roulette. The roulette here has a minimum bet of 25 cents. 25 cents, lowest I've ever seen. So I'm betting on black, and Greta is betting on red. Maybe it's stupid. <laughs> I think it's good. No, one of us well, is one gonna is win. One of us always gonna win. Yeah. Right? So, roulette was successful, Greta was up 100, I was up 20 something. Now we are in a standard room here at Gold Coast. Wow, is that a king bed? That's a big king bed, nice. Okay, you got, oh look how cute this is. <laughs> and then here's the bathroom. This is nice actually, really nice. Sliding door. So we had the steakhouse last night for dinner, but they have a number of good dining options here, including TGI Fridays. Subway, snacks at the gift shop. Noodle Exchange, Ping Pang Pong. Ping Pang Pong is their Chinese restaurant. This is the most popular restaurant in the whole casino hotel here, I would say. Although, I think the steakhouse is probably the best restaurant. That's most popular though. This is their sports bar. So, Gold Coast, I don't think I mentioned it, but it's right next to the Rio and the Palms. So, it's off Strip, but it's probably one of the closest casinos, hotels to the Strip that isn't on the Strip. I just wanna thank the team for providing the room, being so gracious. They do have one of the most friendly staffs I've ever encountered in Vegas. So, uh, they do an awesome job there, making you feel welcome. It's, like I said, off the Strip, so it's gonna be quieter, more so secluded you know it's gonna be a different vibe than the you know strip and the touristy areas in Vegas so if this is your vibe you want somewhere to relax you know this is a place you go for that you know to gamble at low stakes and to kind of have good food and just maybe take it easy but that is gonna do it for this one thank you guys for watching uh, if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I have a a very exciting announcement coming up soon. Some really exciting things we're going to be doing in the channel. So, uh, yeah, besides that, have a great day. Yeah, peace.